So what's going on guys, it is JM, it is Beatboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel before you click onto any of my videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So new WBA Super Middleweight Champion of the World, George Groves, has confirmed that he has broke his jaw. And he broke his jaw last Saturday night in the Fedor Tudinov fight. George Groves picked up this injury apparently in the third round. And after the fight, a lot of people were saying that George Groves had broke his jaw but he has only just came out and confirmed it to quote George Groves here he says it turns out I only went and broke my jaw in the third round on Saturday that all broke it from over smiling since so George Groves broke his jaw in the third round he also picked up a pretty bad cut on his eye after a head clash I think that was in the third round as well it might have been the fourth round but George Groves just wasn't being denied that night like George Groves knew he had to win that fight or his career was pretty much over in terms of big fights so George Groves just wasn't being denied and he managed to get the stoppage in the sixth round a lot of people are saying it was a early stoppage but let's be honest Fedor Tudinov is a very tough man but he was taking clean clean shots and I reckon if he took any more he would have been seriously hurt and when the fight was stopped Fedor Tudinov looked like he wasn't annoyed by the stoppage or anything like that and if someone's going to kick off over a stoppage, it's going to be Fedor Judinov because we saw it when his brother got stopped by Chris Eubank Jr. in the interim WBA middleweight title fight. Um, after the fight, Fedor Judinov stormed to the ring and started protesting the stoppage. So I think it was the right call to make. Fedor Judinov would have ended up getting hurt that night because George Groves was hitting him with some heavy, heavy shots. But he's a very tough man, Fedor Judinov. But George Groves. What does this mean? How long will he be out for? Well, Scott Quigg um, broke his jaw in his unification bout with Carl Frampton in which he lost a split decision. And he broke his jaw in the second round of that fight, I think. And he was out of the ring for nine months almost. So we don't know how long George Groves is going to be out for. I'm saying it's going to be between six and nine months. So what does that mean? Will we not see George Groves in the ring for the rest of the year now? Obviously, there's big fights out there for George Groves. Obviously, he could have the Callum Smith, Anthony Durrell winner in a unification bout, or he could have a big fight with his rival in the sport, James DeGale, have a big rematch, who's the IBF super middleweight champion. But yeah, George Groves breaks his jaw last Saturday night in his world title victory over Fedor Trudinov. Comment below in the comment section your opinion on this. How long do you think George Groves will be out for? And who do you want to see George Groves in with when he comes back from injury so yeah comment below in the comment section it's jm it's sweet boxing